Well, it is the age-old question, is there life out there? Astronomers now have a type of exoplanet they think offers the best chance of sustaining life beyond our own. The so-called super-Earths are bigger than Earth, or which their own stars, and have a thick protective atmosphere. Scientists think there could be tens of billions of them where liquid water could exist in the Milky Way alone, the nearest just six light years away from Earth. Two dozen of the planets discovered could be super-habitable, theoretically more habitable than Earth. Well, joining us now to discuss this further is Star Dome's Josh Aoraki. Kia ora, Josh. Thanks very much for coming in. Yeah, hey, we hear about new planets, you know, fairly regularly. What does it take, though, for astronomers to go, hey, you know what, this one could sustain life? What are we looking for? Yeah, I mean, there are so many exoplanets out there that we've found so far, over 5,000 of them. Um, but I think, yeah, the category to actually name them an Earth-like planet, um, apparently it's quite easy. Um, they need to be kind of a Earth-sized planet. They need to be in the habitable zone, so that's when it's not too close or too far away to a star, um, so that liquid water could exist. So there's quite a few factors, um, but yeah, there are so many planets out there that are different than Earth, um, and the ones that we do call Earth-like, um, we don't actually know if they really could be Earth-like, so there's a lot of factors that actually play into it. Yeah, it's just a bit of a guess, isn't it? At, at yeah, this it's an educated guess, essentially. Yeah, so now a planet, though, that is habitable obviously doesn't mean inhabited. So how do we find out uh, if there's actually anything living on it? How do we get those concrete answers? Yeah, and that's kind of the big question. We've found all of these planets that we think maybe would be habitable or that they could sustain, you know, human life. But we, the thing is, we don't have telescopes to see the surfaces of these planets. Um, but what we do have is with some of our telescopes, like the James Webb Space Telescope, um, we can actually look at the signatures in a, plan a planet's atmosphere so we can look at things like oxygen so if we detect oxygen being produced inside a planet that could be a possible sign of you know biological processes actually making that oxygen so um, it's very likely that these kind of small indicators might uh, kind of hint at life but it's very unlikely that they're gonna tell us that little green men are living there okay we're gonna need more than just the latest iPhone yeah. with the 10 times yes, optical a zoom very very big iPhone to have a look at are those telescopes in the works though yeah, I mean, we've got the James Webb, of course, which has just launched. So that already has a huge catalogue of things that it's going to be looking at, and lots of them are those exoplanets that were found. Um, but there are also some t telescopes here on Earth, which, you know, 30, 40 diameter mirrors, which is massive. So we will actually be able to get more data on these planets, and it probably, you know, eventually will lead us to think that maybe some of these could actually sustain life. OK, these scientists, though, in this research are talking about planets that could be, in theory, more habitable than Earth. How does that even work? I mean, what are we talking? <laughs> Is there free food and free power? Honestly, I'd love no to tell you. <laughs> Even I don't really know. Um, I think it's you know it's funny when we talk about Earth-like planets. I think sometimes there might be an idea that um, you know we're all going to pack our bags and leave and go to these places because they you know they're better than Earth. Um, but the reality is there is no replacement for Earth. You know, Earth is our home. And when we look for these Earth-like places, um, it's not because we want to go there. We actually just want to find possible signs of life. You know, we're trying to answer those questions of are we actually alone in the universe? Okay, okay. We won't pack our bags just yet. Then. Not just yet. Okay, Josh. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks very much for your time tonight. No worries.